We don't get here by accident. We get here because of how we have been shaped and nurtured and how we have been exposed. And you know, I have, I believe, the good fortune of having had the benefit of exposure that has stayed with me and that has helped to root me. I remember in the early days of the, my conscious memory starts probably around 1968, 69 at three, four years old. And from then on there are things that stay with me. And one of them was the whole debate among about the Public Order Act. I lived in Eagle Hall in those days. And for whatever reason, there was obviously a belief that both Elombe and Bobby and others were giving so much trouble in this country that they had to be the subject of people monitoring them and containing them because there was a fear now that I have grown, I understand it, that they may have energized others to do that which what the establishment did not want done in the day. I then remember an image of Morris Bishop in my parents' house and his head was bandaged up. Most people don't know my mother, grandmother was Grenadian. And on that same night that Morris came to visit, Morris and Angela came to visit, Bobby would have been there. It was also the night that my two cousins were killed in New York. Jenny and June Gibbs, who would have been Grenadian as well. And I say these things because these images stay with you almost in the form of a stream of consciousness. When I became opposition leader for the second time in February, 2013, and it's ironic, I showed Ralph tonight, I did a search in my phone, and what came up was a note I had done to myself, and it had marked at the top of it, Coalition of Conscience. And the first name, along with yours, David, on the first line, was Bobby Clark and David Clomichon. I share these things with you because last November, we came to the country and we put before us a charter of Barbados that speaks to the concept of active citizenship and that speaks to a concept that is required for us to go beyond duty to self, to family, to job, that speaks really and truly of the precept of being your brother and sister's keeper. And that is why Ra's story from His Holiness about Fidel resonates so much. Because in essence, what Bobby was simply trying to do each and every day is to allow people to sleep easier to rest easier each and every day. So that Trevor's stories about the calls to Cuba for medicine must matter to us as much as those who want to talk about the agitation for the passage of legislation. Because they both have the same mission. It's just that they get there by different routes. And that was the point I understood, Ralph, you to be making. And that neither one 
is necessarily better than each other, but both are needed if we are going to make the society a better place and an easier place for people to, to rest. I know it well, because in a very real sense, I have the choice and had the choice to make too. I grew up in a family with people who pulled as revolutionaries and rebels. And I grew up in a family with those who chose equally to take a different road and to become part of the rule of law and the establishment. And somewhere in there, I like to believe that I've taken the best of both. And that the stands that we take philosophically now have not happened by accident. And that is why, Trevor, I keep reminding people, as recent as yesterday, about the consistency of the mission. Because it's not by accident that we are doing the things that we are doing. Then Billy, you would know that when I first took over the opposition in 2008, I asked for that, us as a party, to have a call to arms. But the call to arms was rooted in a philosophy as equal as was the covenant of hope. And I want publicly today to thank Bobby Clark, Elombe Motley, and a few others who have been as steady as they could be in inspiring generations of us who came after, recognizing that they may not necessarily have won the battles of politics in a mass base, democracy, party, democracy, because they could not easily live within the confines of political institutions. They may not easily have won the battles of the trades union movement, because as Ralph reminded me, the trade union movement, by definition as well, requires some level of compromise and some level of working with to advance. But what they did was to root us in the importance of the mission to reverse centuries of discrimination and to allow us to understand the importance of always seeing, feeling, and hearing people. And you hear me say so all the time, because I feel as though I have a responsibility to continue to share that message with as many as would accept it. So I speak here tonight to say thank you, Bobby. Thank you for standing apart. Thank you for being courageous not to have to be one of the crowd, not to have to be assimilated, not to have to be anything other than a man who understood that some must do the courageous duty and to fight where others may not be able to fight. But as Ralph said, I believe, and in later years, when I started to speak to him as we came to government, that he also understood that faith without works achieves nothing. And that therefore, his ability to influence the philosophy of those of us in parliament, and I tonight call out young members like Marsha, like Kurt, like Tony, his cousin William is here. That those of us would have the fortitude to want a minimum wage in Barbados in the middle of a recession and to have the courage to do it when others said, Trevor, that it could not be done. 
or to have the fortitude to recognize that we can't just simply create opportunities for others and to leave Barbadians to be tenants in their own land or to have the fortitude to recognize that the work that was done even with those in the city we forget Bobby's legal work in representing the people of Chapman Lane and others with the sewage treatment plan that that cannot rest or to inspire us in understanding that these conversations with the people whom we represent are an absolute necessity if we are to remain faithful to being their representative and that is why the movement towards the people's assemblies owes its genesis to a number of persons that is why the rubbing shoulders owes its genesis to a number of persons that is why the parish speaks that we do now every month where we go and listen and take the opportunity not to have filters communicate to us what people feel however hard it is to hear and however easy it is to hear we are on this journey because of the commitment philosophy inspiration of people like bobby clark and others of his generation who understood that in building a nation that there needed always to be those who would speak about the possibilities while people like ralph and myself and the others will deal with the probabilities